Oh, uh, maybe it is. Yeah, I think it's just like... I... If, if you took the entrance to the wasteland level and so, exit... So, hold on, let me explain what I see. <laughs> I see those spikes as hair, and the horn as a uh, really oversized bottom lip. Alright, I can kind of see what you were seeing there. That's what I kept seeing whenever I saw this. Because <laughs> I didn't see the shading at the very bottom for the mouth. Yeah. So it looked like some weird fucked up little demon monster thing. With a huge jaw with a huge bottom jaw, and I'm just like, all right, but when are we going to encounter this? Because I want to know. <laughs> now I'm disappointed. No, I'm pretty sure it's just if you put skin on the entrance to the level. <laughs> oh, well. Welcome back to banjo Two. <laughs> that explains that. All right, uh, there's something I want you to do real quick. Sure. Switch to fire eggs, because this is something I've been noticing as I edit. Start shooting fire eggs. Those don't use ammo. You have infinite fire eggs because you're a dragon. So I do. I never noticed that before any time I've ever played this game. Interesting. Unfortunately, fire eggs aren't terribly useful, but I suppose anytime you're not specifically trying to blow something up, you can just shoot fireballs. No, it is actually terribly useful for reasons that we don't care about anymore. <laughs> All the first-person shooter things give you have infinite ammo. Oh, that's true. Where am I going again? Was uh, it up there? Yeah, it was not up there to continue along the wall. It's up to that little blue area. Okay. Directions are not my friend. Yeah. Okay, so... Wild. I never noticed that either. Something I'm going to suggest you do here... Yeah? Uh, go ahead and go into the level. But one thing I'm going to suggest you do here is... Go to Wumba, become B. Wasn't there, like, one thing we wanted to do before B happens? There is a bunch of stuff that you need to do in this level as the B. I mean, I kind of figured that those eyeball plants probably have to do with B. Yes. Because that's the only thing at this point that makes you sense. You can also unlock more areas with the B. Just make it happen. Uh, I'm going to say, let's just go do B things. I guess. Uh, because, yeah, you do the eyeballs with the B, you enter the was Wubba Nest, or Zubba Nest, or whatever it is with the bee, which gets mm. you into the top of this mountain. Uh, you still need to go and talk to Red Mumbo, but... I'm cool with doing that. Yeah. Because, where is that at? Uh, I, I just need a circle around this place a few times. Yeah, it's... I believe it's on the same, like, planar level that you're on, but I believe yeah. it was just on the other side of the mountain. Yeah, there it, there it is. So it was slightly high. Oh, hi. There's a there's a crack there. You, you looked at that before and you couldn't do anything with it. Did we? Yes. Mm, I don't remember that, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Let's solve the mystery of what does this guy have for me today? Hello, second Mumbo. Hi, second Mumbo. Hello, Banjo. Mumbo has big surprise for you. I, I mean, I do like surprises. Oh. The crafty shaman imposter. I'm not even gonna try and say his name. <laughs> Interesting. Mingi Jongo. And your worthless quest ends here. There is no escape. There is no escape. Resistance is futile. But we have now learned that we can just do as we please. Zgard, my elaborate disguise is ruined. 
revealing my evil cybernet cyboticness. Does that really matter after you kind of show us your true colors already anyways? <laughs> I feel like the disguise has kind of run its course. I'm just gonna peck your brains out. Oh, that has some homing to it. Apparently. There goes the head. Or part of the head, I guess. Oop. Yeah, that has a curve to it. I always found this to be one of the slightly harder boss fights. Wow, Granted, there's that not has many a boss fights very in this big game, curve to it. But... Oh no. <laughs> That's a big no. I think it gets more homing the further you get into the fight. Nice, but okay. He also has less time between, uh... You know, I have an idea. Periods. Can I just not care, buddy? <laughs> you hit him twice, I think. I did. <laughs> so, they forgot that this is a thing. I fully believe that they entirely forgot that invincibility was a thing in this game. <laughs> Calculate my chances of stopping you are now minimal. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Well then. He's apparently not a full cyborg as he still bleeds. That's a I guess little, green. uh, that's a little grim for a Banjo-Kazooie game. Yeah, it's a little morbid. This game is just darker. Yeah. Way darker than the first game. Okay. Well, that happened. Alright, cool. Well, that's one thing. <laughs> Now I'm a little sad I didn't use invincibility earlier, because I'm wondering how many hits in a row could I get on him <laughs> with invincibility. Question. Could I just... Because it seemed like it interrupted his escape trigger. Maybe? I'm not sure. Could I just sit on him with invincibility and drain his HP all the way to zero <laughs> and just make him a very sad robot? What was I doing? Oh yeah, Wamba. Yeah. I have no idea where she is. Um, Just scope the place, find it. Yeah, I know she was in a purplish area. Oh, I think she. Yeah, there she is. Good thing this only takes one feather every time. I know, right? And that you can slightly curve it. Hey, nice shot. Thank you. Had to get one of the. Oh, right, you need the thing first. You still have not found the second Globo in this stage. Yeah, I have. No, you haven't. That Globo is from Fi Hellfire. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Oops. Is it in here? Maybe. I'm hoping it is. Because I've not seen where that second Globo is anywhere. I've not heard it. I've not seen it anywhere. I'm a big book of spells. Written by herself. Huh. That might be something we need to find later. <laughs> well, it's, it's definitely going to be something we have to find later, but... I mean, it can't be in a B-exclusive area, because if you hit, hit up Mumbo before Wamba, you're kind of screwed if that's the case. Yeah, they, they wouldn't do that to you. Stinger attack. Hot dog. Yes, now you have an attack. That is infinite fire. <laughs> That's not how bees work. He shoots a stinger off his nose. That's where a stinger is, right? I mean, in this instance, yes, you can clearly see it. Infinite That's not how bees work. Infinite flight and infinite sting. So. Oh. Oh, the game is not appreciating this. You can also first person shoot with the bee. I had a feeling. Oh, you can hold it down. Yep. And this is how you take care of the little buzzy, the little eyeball things. Up we go. Yeah, we could have done this. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, there's two Banjo-specific things to do that are both using the beans. Oh, curves. yeah, that's probably a bee thing. Yep, I would assume so. I miss my dive. Also, I seem to recall Wrong. that there was... Oh, okay. I'll shoot it lots of times. <laughs> 
Oh, you don't give me much time to shoot it lots of times. I have to hit that from quite the distance. Dang. Yeah, I think you just need to start off further back. It's not like it's... It's not like they're making this a difficult challenge. I wish you could, like, zoom ahead with the B rather oh, than... Oh, you can. Oh. You hold B. Oh, neat. See, they just made the B even better in this game, and I love it. That works. Hey, nice shooting. Why not come inside? <laughs> hmm. That looks a little strange. Yeah, you got a fast forward button. All right. I'm also gonna suggest uh, Somewhere after we here. find where we need to go into the mountain, uh, I'm going to suggest that we take the bee into the cheese and see if we can do the cheese with the bee. I think you're supposed to do it with Banjo and get into a small pack to be able to go through, but mm -hmm. I want to see if we can just cheese it with the bee. Shooting game. 40 points or more, they'll give you a prize. 50, and there's an extra prize. Let me guess, it's toilet paper with some writing on it. I mean, I can't imagine I do. <laughs> he looks so happy. He is so happy. I love the bee. What am I shooting? Am I shooting bees? No, bees are coming out. So they are. Well, I wonder if you got the homing cheat if this would make me home too. I don't think I need it. <laughs> Spray and pray seems to work just well enough, thank you. <laughs> I I'm honestly wondering if this would actually be easier just standing in one spot and just shooting. That's kind of what I'm doing. Well, no, rather than spinning in place. Oh, it wants me to head up. All right. Yeah, you do slowly fall. Yeah, I, I'll be honest, my buddy. There is no aiming going on here. <laughs> no! Let's get up a little bit. Oh, hey. You got the second prize. Wait, what? That's not first prize? Okay, I guess. Can we start over? Because I kind of wasted like 10 of my seconds shooting at the wrong thing. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, but can you just talk to me again? Maybe they won't talk to you until you take it. Maybe they'll talk to you after you take it. Oh, there is no easy way to go down. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Neat. So I'm wondering if it would be easier to just stay in this position and go directly into first person and just shoot that way, rather than spinning in a circle while you slowly fall down. I don't feel like it. No, that is drastically lower shooting rate. Oh, interesting. That is not happening. Spawn more things. <laughs> I wonder if these do have slight homing. I feel like they probably do, because there is no way in hell I'm making these shots. <laughs> I know how I aim. I don't. <laughs> this is just kind of happening on its own. <laughs> well, you already got enough points. <laughs> got to murder did, all your new friends. You didn't activate homing when I wasn't looking, did you? No, I have not done anything off-screen with this game. Or, I should say, I have not done anything in this game that you were not there for. Dear God. That was... Okay. I feel like that's not how that was supposed to work, but it sure did. Oh, you can go inside the mountain with the bee, and that's how you get up, up on top. Yep. I... Duh. Okay. I kind of figured as much. I just... I saw a thing to shoot at. <laughs> no, I'm good. I think I kind of destroyed your record. Maybe it's just a touch. You just hold, spray and pray. Alright, neat. Well, also, the bee has no fall damage. 
just like in the first game. Right. But I'm still kind of just looking around, getting yeah. a feel for the land. Because I think you just need to go inside the mountain and then fly up to get that. Sounds about right. And you can How shoot do these things. Work? Do I just... Pop I up. guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. Well, we will continue flying around as a bee, popping eyeball monsters in the next episode of Banjo Tooie. I wish there was a way to cancel flight. There was a dude inside that water. That's what you had to swim for. <laughs> <laughs>